What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the LNJ Shave Crave. We're back at it again, and today I'm planning on doing, um, I guess, a, a real expensive shave, at least to me. We're going to be using the the Rocknell Sailor, which is that I presented that before in a couple other videos. I'm going to be using a Gillette 7 o'clock with it on the most aggressive setting, which I believe is 3, 4, on 5, because <laughs> I don't know Roman numerals. I don't. Um, and then something very special that I bought from the Shave Supply. Thank you very much, Gareth, for hooking it up. This is, let me show you its presentation box right here. Let's see if I can get, get it on there. This brush came in this box right here. It's a V-Long or Vi-Long, I'm not sure. Silver tip badger uh, with a horn handle. I swear the presentation on this is Actually, really, really gnarly. Comes in this really nice oak box. So we're gonna put that down to the side. We're gonna soak this in the Rad Coffee Skull because Halloween is around the corner. Let's see here, let's get it in there. Awesome, it's actually kind of light and it feels real nice. It's smooth, it's very, very smooth. Okay, now we're gonna be using a soap by, uh, let's see, what is this place called? Victory Shaving Company, which uh, sort of still exists, but I don't think they have any more soaps for sale. This is called Red Tail. Awesome, it smells great. Oh, it just smells good. With with the Captain's Choice Shave Bowl, and I just pulled some out on my Smiles for Miles Shave Soap Scooper. And we're gonna add it here. And we're gonna get to lathering. So I hope you guys have been, been having a good week. I know I have lots of work hasn't slowed down so that's awesome um, see that kind of kind of gnarly actually so let's get to creating that leather instant it was instant we are going to be using um, aqua di Giro Giorgio Armani's uh, aftershave with this combination and um, what else I am going to add a little bit of fine aftershave spray at the very end just because I like to mix it up um, and of course if I get any cuts which I'm expecting or nicks we're going to be using the PAA's no slip grip alum, alum block to close up and tighten up all the pores okay instant I swear to you guys so we're going to wet the face and get to the shade Leave that there. And we're, like I said, we're going to be using uh, Ariana and Evans pre shave. And November is about to start. I'm sure you guys all know that. I might participate in November this, this year. I'm thinking about it, but it's kind of hard because my beard itches me. Technically, I'm already there. <laughs> you guys can see that already. So let's get some of that pre shave going. And I've already chosen out my costume. I got real lucky um, that I found the mask to the costume. Um, babe, what was the name of that place that we went to to pick up the mask? Stardust Alley. Stardust Alley in Upland. They're located right next to Rad Coffee. And uh, she's real awesome. She actually had the traditional Michael Myers mask. Uh, authentic obviously and I actually I bought it for 60 bucks and right now they're going for like almost 500 bucks it's crazy and uh, I told myself you know what let's see if she's got one and I got real real lucky that she did so I ended up buying it and then I bought a jumpsuit a Dickies jumpsuit to tie the whole costume together So let's get to the first pass. Now, Gareth wasn't joking about this uh, V-Long. Or how's it, how did you say it, babe? I don't know. I don't know how to You said V-Long? I mean, it's, it's, it was made in, it's made in Valencia, in Valencia, Spain.
This is one killer razor. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I love this thing. Greatest purchase I've ever made. Now the Gillette 7 o'clock blade is a very, very comfortable blade and I think it's very sharp as well. My chin area happens to be the, the problem area. It's hard to shave. Very cool, very cool. Very smooth the first pass. We're gonna go for a second against the grain and call it a night. This is the Wednesday night shave as well. I waited way too long to shave. I've just been real busy and too dang tired. And truly when I do a shave, I really appreciate doing it. That's why I take my time and really enjoy it, you know, because I don't get to do it all the time. Okay, so let's wash this off. I swear to you guys, this is one of the most smoothest brushes I've ever owned. It is real fine. Boy, oh boy, it's by far one of the nicest. It really holds the lather real nice. Now, if you guys want to buy some shave gear, check out uh, the shave supply. Gareth, Gareth is the man and he'll hook you up. Believe that. He's got a, real, a lot of real nice things. Okay, so let's close out this shave. Going against the green. I'll be listing the set notes in the, de in, the in, uh, in the description below, so you guys can check that out. Yes. <laughs> and that's my weasel son. <laughs> About to close this shave out because I think we're done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and we're done. This concludes the shave. We're gonna wash the face real quick. And then, stride off with my favorite sheep towel by Lancaster Razor Works. Right here, Let's see where that awesome piece of leather is. Boom. Okay, looks like we're done. All right, well, Let's get to putting on Aqua Di Gio. Thank you, babe, for this, because my, my wife uh, bought this for me. <laughs> I don't use it a lot because this stuff is not cheap, but I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight after shave. Let's do it.
Ooh, that's a solid burn. Thank you guys for watching the L&J Shave Crave. This has been Shoei J coming at you. And as you guys saw, it's probably by far my most expensive shave because <laughs> I'll suddenly explain. The V-Long, which is made in Spain, this was a 240, but I got a deal, a real good deal. And the Rocknell, I believe is 489. So that's already tipping the top. And I think these go for about 60 bucks, give or take. And then, what else? I think that's it. So we're pretty much in like the few hundreds. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching it. To all the subscribers, thank you. You guys know what to do. Please like, uh, subscribe, and or dislike. You guys know. Leave your comments down below. Ask me any questions you guys like. Even if you guys have requests, I'll, I'll do them. I'm down. Um, and guys, get ready for the Halloween shave. It's going to be gnarly, and I'm serious. Just like my one other shave I talked to you guys about that was extremely gnarly, this is going to be the same. So, if I'm not missing anything, I think we're done with the shave. But let's not forget, I did use Red Tail. So, I'll list everything down below, all the things I used, and then um, that's it. So, thank you guys for coming, and I'll check you guys back later. Peace out.